All right, welcome to the dark side, eighth grade math. Today, we have day 18. Mwahahaha. Actually, I don't think there's evil laughs in, in Star Wars, but you know, there could have been, could have been. Um, day 18 has to do with vertical and adjacent angles. Um, for vertical angles, those are angles that are formed by two intersecting lines. Um, these intersecting lines um, to form those vertical angles because they're directly across from one another. They share this little vertex right here in the middle, but they don't share any sides. So the great thing about vertical angles is that they are congruent to one another. They have the same um, angle measurement. So if this angle is 120, this angle up here has to be 120 degrees also. So to, in order to figure out what X is, all we have to do is set these two angles equal to one another. So I'm going to take this 6X plus 30, and I'm going to set it equal to the 120. Because whatever X is here, 6X plus 30 has to come out to be equal to 120. So now I have a two-step equation once I set these equal. So I can subtract 30 from both sides. And I'm left with 6x equals 90. And then I can divide by 6 to find out what x is. Now, if you don't want to worry with doing that in your head, don't worry. You can take out your calculator and do 90 divided by 6, and x ends up being 15. So, and to prove, you know, kind of check your work, make sure you did this correctly, um, you can take that 15 and I'm going to put it back in for x up here. So 6x plus 30. I'm going to take um, 15 and put it in for x. So 6 times 15 plus 30. And just type that in your calculator. 6 times 15 plus 30 gives me 120. So this has to be 120. This is 120. All of it checks out. Okay, now we have adjacent angles. And um, we still have our two sets of intersecting lines, but our angle that we're looking for are in different positions, okay? So these are adjacent angles, meaning they share this side right here. They're right next to one another and they share this side. Now this is a straight line. So straight line right there. And a straight line, the number of degrees in a straight line is always 180. We're going to talk about this some more tomorrow um, for tomorrow's or day 19's AMIs. But this straight line has 180 degrees in it. And it's made up of two different angles. So whenever I add these two together, I'm going to get 180 degrees. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this angle plus this angle and set it equal to 180. So 2x plus, so I got the first angle, 3x plus 25, there's my second angle, is equal to 180. So I'm going to combine my like terms. 2x plus 3x gives me 5x plus 25 equals 180. Okay, and back to my two-step equation. I'm going to subtract 25 from both sides. And 5x is equal to, don't stress about using your calculator, okay? Just go ahead and use it. 180 minus 25. Miss Klein, if you're listening to this, I'm so sorry. I'm encouraging calculators. 5x equals 155. And then I'm going to divide by 5. So I'm going to take that 155 divided by 5 and x is 31, okay? So I can check that back up here, okay? I'm gonna, I know that x is 31. I'm gonna erase this. Okay? Uh, Miss Klein was my high school math teacher. Ask your parents about her. They'll know why I apologized. Um, I know that x is 31. Put that right up there. I'm going to substitute in 
in my first angle. So 2 times 31 is 62. So this angle right here is 62 degrees. Okay? Then I'm going to take this angle, this 3x plus 25, and I'm going to substitute in 31 for it. Okay, 3 times 31 is 93, plus 25, 28, 118. So this angle is 118 degrees. So to kind of check your work, I'm going to take this 62 plus this 118. 62 plus 118. They add together to give me 180 degrees, which is exactly what we thought would happen. May the force be with you.